Hello and welcome to the Ares product training, maximizing your end to end capabilities. My name is Lauren Trout. I'm a senior content developer here at Comscope. And with me, I have Tom Gibson, a senior professional trainer. So today we'll be covering a variety of topics. First, we will review the different Ares product lines we provide technical training for. Then we'll delve into each product and the course offerings available. Next, we'll discuss what makes Ares training so unique and awesome. And finally, we'll take a quick look at learn.ares.com and all the different features the website has to offer. So starting off, so Comscope provides broadband network solutions with a variety of Ares products. We have CMTS and CCAP, distributed access architecture, video solutions, network management, passive optical networks, and much more. And now I'm gonna pass it over to Tom, who's gonna to take an in-depth look at each of these product lines and go over some of the courses that we have available. Thanks, Lauren. So here we'll start off with our CMTS and CCAP training offerings and with, with our flagship product, the E6000 CER. We offer a, a variety of topics for training on the E6000 from hardware to operations, configuration, and advanced troubleshooting. We also have different proficiency levels available from a foundation, principal, and advanced levels. If you look at the sample courses here, pay, pay attention to the course numbering scheme. And you'll see, for example, the E6D101, E6000 Hardware Overview. Uh, the, one, the 100 series courses are uh, very basic in nature. The most of those are e-learning courses. Next, we'll look at E6D201, which is our E6000 operations course. This one is either a instructor-led or virtual instructor-led course, and it's a little bit more than our 100 series, but still uh, introductory in nature. And then we have our E6D300 series, and these are more advanced courses. Uh, the example we see here is the E6D300 E6000 Advanced Troubleshooting Essentials. So these uh, course codes will be important. Uh, they will help you to be able to search for all of the different courses that we have uh, in ARIS Academy. And with that, let's take a look at our curriculum map and, that, and we can explore that a little bit more in detail. Uh, this curriculum map can be found on our training website. Lauren will be able to cover that uh, where that uh, curriculum map is located here in just a moment. But this curriculum map will help you look for uh, the training that you will need for your particular level of expertise. Uh, you can see that we have uh, all of our training in this first page broken into three distinct groups, foundation level training, principal level training, and advanced level training. Uh, the first row uh, that we'll take a look at would be for our E6000 DOCSIS courses. And you can see in the foundation column there, we have E6D 101 and E6D 103. Each one of those are actual links to the course descriptions that are found in the course catalog. So when you open up this curriculum map, put your cursor over each one of these, click the link and it will take you to ex uh, exactly to uh, the course description page in the course catalog. Moving over to our principal courses, these are our 200 series courses. Once again, E6D 201, and then we have 230 and 231. These are uh, also um, smaller portions of the 201 course. And then you can see we have quite a few in the advanced category. These are our 300 series courses. Uh, you will see some of these that have an E at the end of them, such as E6D 300E. That is an e-learning course. Our, our E6D 301L, this would be a instructor-led course. So you have an, a combination of e-learning courses and instructor-led courses for these. We also see our distributed access architecture row. Uh, here we can see the E6D 101 once again as a precursor uh, to our E6D 202 courses and the E6D 251. We will explain more about these here in just a moment. 
The third row is E6000 routing. And you can see we still have the E6D101 hardware overview and then the E6D201 operations course. But then in the advanced column, look at the E6R courses. And these are all 200 series courses. These are e-learning courses that are available that, that can uh, discuss routing as it is in, uh, implemented in the E6000. Below that, we have our video courses for the E6000, starting off with the E6V101 course, and then continuing on with our E6V204, 205, or 208 courses. We also have a, a, a few technology courses. These are our Tech 202, Tech 301, and Tech 302. Uh, these will be able to give you more in-depth knowledge about the DOCSIS protocols. And then we have some electives uh, there which you can look at, such as the Tech 104, uh, the E6D105 courses, and then we have a couple there in the principal level with E6D203 and E6V209. Once again, as you uh, navigate this particular curriculum map, each one of these course uh, numbering schemes is a link over to our uh, training catalog. On the next page of our curriculum map, you'll see that we've broken it into the functional areas of the E6000. So for instance, on the far left-hand side, you'll see all of our DOCSIS level courses available for the E6000. And once again, on this page, if you were to click on any one of the uh, uh, highlighted course numbers, it will take you directly to that page in the course catalog. Uh, so you can see a, a listing there of all of our DOCSIS related courses. We have our distributed access architecture courses with the E6D202 and E6D251. We have our routing courses. Remember, these are E6R courses. And then we have our video courses. These will all um, be listed as E6V courses. We have some technology courses which are uh, covering DOCSIS, including DOCSIS 3.1. And then we have some elective courses, the E6D105, which is our passive optical network E6000 course, our E6D203, which is our E6000 administration suite. And then we have an another, uh, another elective, the Tech 104 Wi-Fi Essentials. So this is the E6000 curriculum map. Uh, as I said, uh, Lauren will show you where on our website you can find this a little bit later. Uh, it can definitely help you define the courses. So let's take a look at our next area that we'll talk about, which will be distributed access architecture training. Uh, the product line that we offer with this is the ARIS E6000N remote FI devices. Uh, currently, we have three of these devices uh, out in the marketplace. Um, these uh, devices are um, developed to fit inside existing node cabinets. Uh, we have one for the, e the OM6000 fiber optic node housing, one for the NC2000 and NC4000 node housing, and then we have the E6000N RPD remote FI shelf. We offer all types of training for these devices from which has, uh, which goes over the benefits of distributed access architecture, uh, the remote FI protocols, configuration, troubleshooting, and much more. These are going to be also a mixture of instructor-led and e-learning courses. Uh, the ones that you want to look for in the catalog, uh, the first one would be the E6D202. This is the ARIS R5 overview and implementation. And then we also have the E6D251, which is our V Manager product, uh, which would cover RPD Manager Release 1.2. And later this year, we'll be looking for vCore training. Next, we'll take a look at our video solutions. This includes our set top boxes along with the ARIS Unified Edge, as well as the E6000. We offer training covering table-based VOD, switch digital video, broadcast video, video QAM applications, configuration, and troubleshooting. We 
with instructor-led and e-learning courses available for all of these. Some sample courses, the E6V204, which would be E6000 video, video applications using table-based VOD, and then E6V208, and this would be the E6000 video applications switch digital video with table-based VOD. Uh, notice it also includes Annex A and DVB, so this would be more geared toward the European video market. Additionally, we have an overview course, uh, the Tech 101 course. Uh, this would be uh, giving you a, a broad introduction into video applications and networking. And then also be looking for our ARIS View uh, product training coming later this year. Next, let's talk about network management. Network management begins with our ARIS Servisure uh, product line. Uh, this is a modular product offering which combines powerful software uh, that ex it, it helps uh, your customers to uh, be able to monitor their network. And so it can provide end-to-end -end visibility across the entire service delivery environment, allows you to be proactive and uh, respond to uh, conditions in your network, and it can prevent problems uh, before they impact the subscriber. The training that we offer, uh, it covers the Servisure NXT platform. Uh, these include Servisure Analyze, Servisure NXT Alarm Central, and Servisure NXT Virtual Spectrum. Uh, we have one uh, course uh, here in our, our sample, the NXT 301. And when you order this course, uh, this is a customizable training uh, really to fit your particular needs, uh, depending on what you have uh, currently deployed or what you're looking to deploy when it comes to the Servisher NXT platform. Uh, this is where we can uh, meet with you, discuss what your needs are. We can include or not include different topics such as modem view, network view, upstream spectrum analyzer, and alarm central topics. So very customizable to help you uh, with whatever deployment of service your NXT that you may have. And then lastly, we'll move on to our passive optical network training. Uh, this allows us to, uh, uh, this training uh, allows us to describe how the E6000 would fit into a passive optical network uh, environment. Um, these are available in a recorded webcast or e-learning modules. Um, sample courses that we'll talk uh, that, that we'll see is the E6D105 introduction to the E6000 in a passive optical network, and then we have an overview of passive optical networks webcasts. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Lauren. All right, thank you so much, Tom. So. What do our, we have to offer and what makes our training so unique? First, we offer variety. We have webcast, e-learnings, virtual instructor-led and instructor-led courses available. Some courses offer video and other offer, others offer in-person labs. Our variety of courses are designed to help you learn the way that best suits you. Next, we offer flexibility. Whether you like to take things at your own pace or prefer to see an instructor face-to-face, -face, we have the right option for you. You can even take courses from the comfort of your own couch. With flexibility in style comes flexibility in pricing as well. Our e-learning courses are affordable, but they don't include the hands-on lab work or instructor interaction, but our instructor courses let you configure equipment or troubleshoot in a safe environment. Plus you get the support of our expert trainers. And finally, we offer expertise. We offer access to experts with virtually over 100 years of experience. Our trainers have in-depth knowledge of the industry and the ARIS product technology and implementation. They can help you maximize your end-to-end -end capabilities with ease. All right, so next we're gonna check out learn.aris.com. So this is our website. As you can see, we have several different features that we offer. So on learn.aris, you can access ARIS Academy, the learning platform that houses all of our courses. You can access the training catalog where you can look up courses you're interested in and find out more about them. 
or you can look at the training calendar, which shows you when and where the upcoming FILTS and ILT classes will be taking place. You can take a look at the course curriculum map that Tom looked at earlier in this presentation that lets you map out your ARIS product training journey. You can take a quick look at instructor, prof instructor profiles and much more. So here we can see the, the layout of learn.aris.com and all the tabs that we just talked about. First, I'm going to take a look at the course catalog and show you what that looks like. Here you can see our course catalog is pretty straightforward. We have the courses sorted into subcategories based upon the product line and, and or the solution that you're looking for. We have labeled our courses much like college courses. You can see an example here with HFC 101. You can also have the ability to search for courses based upon their course title or category. So just click at the search bar up here on the left. And so all of our, for example, all of our E6000 courses are start with the, the words or the letters E6. So if we type that in and then click, click search, it pulls up a list of all of our E6000 courses. So there are some that aren't shown in this window. You can still see that we use the college course numbering to help you search. One thing to note, there are different release numbers to co coincide with the, each release of the E6000. So our most recent release is the E6000 A.0. And so you can see, for example, E60 101, we have E6000 Hardware Overview Release 8.0. All right, next we'll take a look at the training calendar. So when we click on the tab, you can see a sample of some of the courses coming up in March. It lists the course title, time, and location. You can also click on the course to see more information and find a link to the course description. Lastly, we'll take a quick look at ARIS Academy. Here you can see the courses you have registered for and started and finished. You can also search for courses in the catalog and access other helpful resources. Any e-learning courses you have registered for can be taken multiple times, so if you need to go back and refresh your memory, that option is available to you. All right, and so the next, next thing is to keep your eye out for our next webcast, where we take an in-depth look at the E6000 CER. That'll be coming soon. And last but not least, don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. We post course updates, links to helpful content, videos, and much more. And also keep an eye out for some free content coming on YouTube in 2020. And that's all from me. So I want to say thank you from me, Lauren Trout. And then I'll let Tom say a good farewell as well. Thank you, Lauren. And thank you, everyone, for your time today. Uh, as Lauren said, check us out on, on our social media uh, links here that you see on the screen. Uh, be looking for lots of uh, exciting content as we go through 2020.